Yeah. What up, everybody? Yo. We said we'd be consistent, and we're uh, right now we're training pretty good. We're, we're looking good, bro. We're back. We have an awesome episode today. Yeah. I'm very excited. I'd I love, didn't bring notes. That's okay. We don't Damn. need notes. No we notes. can talk about it. Okay. But I'm very curious to see. In today's episode, we are going to figure out whether or not Jay's fan application was accepted. Oh, that is true, huh? And whether or not he's going to huh. actually accept the acceptance or denial. Yeah. Either way. Yeah. Uh, we're going to talk about some things you guys lit us up in the comments. Y'all were y'all were coming after me and Kyrie, and I love that. That's awesome. Great engagement. Oh, I'm ready to hear that. And, uh, yeah, we just had some other people ask some questions. We put out a little community post uh, earlier today uh, since we were recording tonight. Yeah. But before all that, if you guys love this show, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, so we can keep doing more stuff like this, man, because we love talking basketball. We just came from a basketball game. Yeah, we did. And we talked for like, <laughs> we I, we talked for 20 minutes after the game was over about the game. So like about basketball. We talk basketball all the time. For sure. All the so, time. But yeah, shout out to the Lady Razorbacks. They got a dub. They squeaked one out against uh, Jackson State. Yeah. A little closer than we, than we wanted it to be. Very athletic team Jackson State is. Though. Very. Yeah. Number zero was, I mean, she was... She was like a taller Q, like yeah. a taller Marquisha. Like, she was huge. Yeah, yeah. Very but athletic team. Very athletic team. They'll, they're they going to win some games. For sure. They're going to disrupt uh, a lot of people. But let's get into it, man. Uh, do we want to talk about your application first? Save it, save it for the end. Save it for the end. Save okay, the yeah, end. that's that's perfect. So let's get well, into hold this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all oh, yeah. Intro, the biggest part of this Actually, episode. we did. So y'all can hear Lainey, but hold on. Three, two, one. Now you can see her. Ah. <laughs> we have freed Laney. Hashtag free Laney yeah. is over with. She is free now. So not only will you hear her, but you will see her, which is awesome. We've been we've been wanting to get her involved on the pod for a very long time. For sure. You know, she's been involved vocally. You guys can hear her, but you can't see her. Now you can do both. For sure. So that's awesome. Uh the the whole gang is here. Like we're we're squat. It's like officially a show. Like we we're squat. an official show now. Yeah. Yeah. So Let's get into it, man. So uh, let's rehash some things about Kyrie. Um, uh, from what from what I read in the comments, I was a little bit misunderstood. Uh, obviously, we know he went on his little hiatus. He was at Central High uh, last season. Dope, by uh, the way. Yeah, very, very awesome. Very awesome that he went and explored um, different things with you know for the culture and whatnot. Uh, but one of the comments I'm seeing, shout out to AK, he uh, he put us on this. He said uh, he's hated on because he goes against the the agenda and narratives yep. of you know certain things. Yep. Um, he does say some dumb stuff and keeps certain things to himself, uh, but it does so it doesn't get blown up. But he doesn't conform to society. Regardless, he wants to hoop, and the Nets are the favorites with him. He just refuses to be forced into doing something he doesn't agree with. You know, i.e., we all kind of know like there's a mandate mm -hmm. uh, that you have to follow certain rules, the way the situations are. Can't I don't want to get too into that too political for sure um i will say on that note though i saw a i don't know if it was a tweet or an instagram post that mm -hmm. apparently there is a new sh not strand of the virus but new company that is developing the virus that's more based on like holistic views and like okay holistic virus vaccines anyways and Kyrie is thinking about getting that one i did see that the other mm. day so good that's for Kyrie. A, a mm. note, so. good Okay, well, I mean, hey, as long as he can get back on the floor. Yeah. Do you think, obviously, so AK says the Nets are the favorite with him in the lineup. Honestly, the way the NBA is kind of looking, I think it's down to, like, the Warriors look really good. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the Nets, you know, maybe so. Maybe they're, they're – do you think Kyrie, having not played for a very long – well, not long, I'm not going to say a long time, but having been out of game shape and game reps for a long time, do you think – there's still plenty of time for them to kind of gel, especially with the new rules and stuff that we talked about. The yep. patch, yeah, the patch. Yeah. You know, Harden is kind of yeah. He's, he's as as far as superstars go, he's a little mid right now. Yeah, yeah. Now you're right. So you're right. How how Kyrie coming back? How does that affect the Brooklyn Nets team? In your opinion, um, I do think they struggle. I do think they struggle to try to figure it out at least initially, mm -hmm. just because when you have somebody who's this is go two ways. You know what I mean? Like right. it could be one of those things where the team is like, you good Kyrie. And they try to force him the ball and he tries to develop his rhythm. Yeah. yeah and yeah. It, it doesn't happen as fast as they would like. Mm -hmm. And then you have the other side where they try to make it work with the three of them. 
but it's just not clicking just because they haven't had that time to kind of get it right. and get it going. So um I don't know if they're the favorite with them right now. I'm being honest about are that. Are they the favorite in your eyes? No. Bulls. Bulls are the favorite to come out the East to me. Really? They move the ball too well, bro. That's the only team to me outside of the uh the Warriors that I really feel like are comfortable sharing the ball. And I'm big on that. And we did talk about that is the best basketball when like all five hands sure. like five sets of hands touches the ball. Mm-hmm. Like on offense, it's it's a thing of beauty. They Poetry move the ball really well. When it comes down to it, they know who their superstars are. There's not a lot of um like fighting on that. Right. And yeah, I was talking to one of my guys, uh CJ, yesterday, and we both kind of agreed like the Bulls looks to be the favorite out the east to me. I think the Nets I would like to see the Nets there because I'm a huge KD fan. You guys know yeah. that. Um but yeah, I'm just trying to I don't know. The Nets they they don't move the ball as well as the Bulls. Move the like yeah, it's, it's a little different, bro. It's a yeah, little different. I think they're super you got to you got to take into account like the superstars. You know, LeBron is a superstar obviously, but he's more he he's a little bit more like I don't want to say pass heavy because obviously he takes his shots, gets his money up. Yeah. But He's somebody that has always had that persona and that people always are, have an understanding that you have to guard all five. Yeah. You know, you got to guard the other four players plus LeBron because, I mean, we saw the the little, like, pump fake pass to the one hand. Like, Elite. That was, an, that was a great backdoor cut, and he's willing to make those type of plays. When you look at, you know, Kyrie, James Harden, and Kevin Durant, we're, at, we're a lot of ISO scorers. Yeah. So the ball sticks a lot. They don't move the ball very well, and I think that's kind of a reason why, like, you don't see a lot of, a lot of gelling within that. Like, Katie and Kevin, or Katie and Kevin Durant. How about that? Katie and James Harden can kind of get away with it because there's three other people. But when there's three superstars and you're all ISO heavy, you got to either stagger the minutes yep. or you really got to learn. Like, we got to go back to fifth grade where everybody like. Five passes, five passes down. Mm-hmm, you know, everybody mm-hmm. touches the ball once, and then and then get into your offense. Right. It's kind of hard, man. No, Especially it's tough with, with Harden because he's trying to overcome the patch, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. He is, and uh, he's a gr- he's a great facilitator. Honestly, he is a good point guard. Um, it just comes down again to how well the team can gel and how fast that can happen. Mm-hmm. Me, I'm not too confident that that can happen as fast as they would like. Mm-hmm. But I will say that if they do lead into playoff time. Right, I think they'll be fine, but you know it just kind of depends on you know when that that um, process starts to kind of you know happen. Right. So let's look at the standings in the East. So the Bulls are your favorite to come out of the East right now. Yes, strictly based on what you've seen in terms of sharing the ball. Yep, one hundred percent, and them understanding, them understanding player roles and understanding that the two main scorers mm-hmm. are are those are. Demar and Zach, and they get the ball late in games to make a play. Yeah, whether that's a kick, a bucket, whatever. Okay, I've I've witnessed that at least three times now. So if we're looking at the league, the standings from the league, Golden State obviously is at the top. Phoenix is is number two. Utah is number three. Brooklyn is four, and the Bulls are number five. Yeah, a drastic difference from where they were, you know, even a year ago. You telling me? It's it's kind of remarkable. The uh, the sort of 180 they've done you know they're, going, they're trending upward yep. after you know years of wishing d rose had not gotten hurt and you know some hopefuls coming in and out of there d wade going back yep playing for a couple years or you know maybe even a year however long he stayed there thinking like okay d wade's gonna do something for us and mm-hmm. then now we're kind of starting to see it's fun in chicago again. right but if we look at the eastern conference the bulls are number two they're yeah. ahead of milwaukee which is kind of surprising milwaukee is one of those Sitting at sixteen and ten, Chicago seventeen and nine. So, the Bulls or the Bucks are about a game back from second place. That's another like team that we can't ignore. No, no, you Especially know what I mean. What they did last yeah, year. Yeah, I know. Like we that, can't ignore that. No, you can't. Bobby's you, playing well still. Good, I, man. I wish he would have got more money. Me too. I really do. Like yeah. I wanted to see him get a max deal. You know, yeah. for his position at what people value as max. But yeah, you know it. it it is what it is. You got to get what you can. I'm I'm proud. You know, Bobby's a loyal guy. Yep. He's gonna you know bleed green and white till he's you know either traded or gets more money elsewhere, which he deserves. Right. That's I awesome. Agree. So I mean, a lot of people, some people in the comments, Slim Shade underscore E, so Slim Shady says, "I'm speaking facts. 2021 Kyrie is as useful as a 
Dookie flavored lollipop until he shows he's ready to actually hoop. That's crazy. That's a, that's a, a little over the top there. I mean, that's crazy. I see what you're saying in terms of like him not playing. He's about as good. Like nobody's gonna obviously eat that flavor. Yeah, or, yeah. You know, <laughs> try that flavor there. Right. Like, so I I get it. I I don't want to I don't want to harp too much on Kyrie right now, but you know that was the main topic of discussion. Yeah. So let us know down in the comments. Like, what do you guys think? Do you guys want to see Kyrie back on the floor? Do you think he needs to continue to wait it out, or would you rather see him kind of become more of a cultural icon like Maya Moore did, where she retired early? Yep. Uh, Laney told me after the podcast she didn't retire like at her time. She retired a little bit early to do, you know, to pursue something she stood for heavily. For yeah, sure. What's crazy is like they. I think and people can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty positive they were fresh off winning the WNBA championship. She was fresh off of one of the best career, like one of the best seasons of her career, um, and just put her career on hold and said, you know, I'm done for now. Yeah. Um, there's more to to my life. There's more to my purpose type thing. Um, and put everything on hold and basically retired, which I think is is pretty noble of her. But yeah, it wasn't it wasn't like at the end of her career. Hmm. Um, Maya could have played 10 more years, being completely honest with you. But Man, no other girls was like, Shh, finally. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I'm so she sick was, of seeing her. <laughs> she was chopping them up. Man, she was balling. I remember that. She was balling, man. Oh, I do remember her legend. doing that and making that decision. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty too, crazy, man. It I is. remember when she played at UConn, um, mm -hmm. and she was lethal at UConn, and so everybody knew like she was going to go play in the league for, for, for some years. And with WNBA, it's a little bit different than the NBA. Um, mm hmm women can play longer in the WNBA because their seasons are shorter mm -hmm. and they don't have to play basketball year round. They can right. go have other jobs during the regular time of year. Um, just because you don't get paid as much as WNBA. It's not as like rigorous as the NBA. Um, and so like she literally probably could have played 10 more years. Like there are women in the league right now that are averaged age, like 40, like no lie. Like that's there are nuts. Women that that is are crazy. Playing, hooping, not like, not just like in the league, but like actually playing. So. Yeah, and I aspire to be playing pickup at forty. Yeah, you got some pickup the other day. You ain't talking about that though. No, I don't hey, want to. Clay was getting off. No, I wasn't. Three had his hand up and all that. Don't let him fool. I airballed a couple. Don't worry about it. Hey, hey, you was hooping, bro. Let me let me tell you let me tell you something about age, young fellas and ladies. If you grow up hooping a lot, and you enjoy playing pickup basketball yeah. at your local gym or local park. Do not ever stop. That's true. Because once you do. It's hard to get back into it, man. It's very hard to get back into it. I'm talking about the arches of my feet are sore. Yeah. Like, I have never had my my arches of my feet sore. Yeah. I, I've yeah. never experienced that type of, that type of like, I don't want to say discomfort because it doesn't hurt, but it's just like, Dang. man, is it ever going to go away? Yep. It's like, yeah. It's really bad. But yeah, Jay and I, Jay was out there too. Uh, of three games, he played two. I played three. Uh, we won. You know, we lost our uh, – my team lost the first one. But anyway, yeah, we did. It was good to get back out there. We need to get back into it. No, for sure. If you guys would like to see some stuff like that, you know, maybe we can put together uh, – No, we're getting a league team. Yeah. Yeah, we yeah. are getting a league team. Yeah. We are. Yeah, breaking news. We're yeah, 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 we're getting a league team. And soon. Springdale. Very soon. Um, yeah, we could do some uh, – we could definitely do some – live games or something i don't know how we'd work that out but we yeah have, we'd have to figure something out i'm gonna for sure put it on I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it on on something yeah absolutely good content yeah just because. Always, look, speaking of good content can we talk about the what you got on what this right here yeah that i've All never right. seen that before okay well you'll see it tomorrow when i bring you yours <laughs> um yeah man just a regular just a regular suit man we'll get into that we'll get into that when i talk about the bulls later but it looks it looks like the, the nba one like the arkansas one that you like yeah like it's you got right. one but it's like never fold so I, yeah, know. yeah, it's pretty good. Hey, we're working, working on some things. I've man. never seen that. <laughs> I've never seen that. Before. He put me on the spot. We working on some things, Clay Day. You know, we on the come seen, up, bro. I have never seen that before. You know what I'm saying? Never fold dot shop. Just in case y'all interested, it'll be out sooner or later. Yeah, but absolutely. You, you know. Can we count back in the um when you edit this? How many times you just said I've never seen that before? Because yeah, yeah. I'll I'll add the counter. Just yeah, I'll add the counter for sure. I will add the counter. Let's get on to some other things. Uh, Lamelo has been playing really good. Yeah, his shoe is great. His shoe? I haven't seen a shoe. What? I'm living under a rock, dude. I I hadn't seen a lot of. They're in the car. Really? I would almost if I didn't park so far. I would almost go get them. I'm pretty sure they're in the car. I uh, think maybe not. Maybe I took them out. They're dope. They're dope. Is though. it with? Who's it with? Puma. Puma. Okay. Yeah. Oh, is that the one you posted? Yeah. 
the real that yep. you were telling me about. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I remember you. I remember those. Yeah, though. Yeah. You did you hoop? Oh, let's. Yeah, did you hoop in them in Little Rock? Yeah. So if you guys don't know who Devonte Friga is, uh, and you're new to this YouTube thing, he is a probably the name in pickup basketball yeah, for YouTubers. For right sure, now. the top basketball YouTuber, honestly, right now, for sure. Yeah, and he wanted to set something up in uh, in Little Rock, Arkansas, which is where Jay and I are from. Yep. Um. Let's just talk about that for a little bit, man. Okay. Like you were, I was really excited to hear how it went. I wasn't able to make it down there, but yeah, you know, you got to hook up with some of your old old friends: Archie Goodwin, former NBA player; Landis Harris, former Arkansas Razorback. Yep. Along with some other guys that you went to high school with. Yep. Uh, and played pickup with in AAU, and you know, been with since diapers, basically. How was that? How was that experience? Great, bro. Great. Um, everybody there could go. That's what. That's like. That was the best part to me. Like, nobody stepped on the floor that that couldn't hoop. Yeah. Like, you had to be on your P's and Q's, which kind of, which is cool, though, because I didn't think I was, I mean, I did it. I, I played, I shot the ball decently for somebody who hasn't been in the gym. You know what I'm saying? I, I know a lot of you guys think I'm always, like, doing, like, basketball training, but honestly, bro, I, like, I've been doing, like, a lot of other things just kind of behind the scenes, so I don't get to hoop as often as, you know, I used to. But the run, the run was great, though. A lot of buckets. Friga, obviously a bucket. Yep. Uh, Archie, whew, Archie looks great. Yep. Uh, Atlantis looked great. I could go on and on, and you yeah. know what I'm saying. My boy Beasley, CJ, you know I grew up with them. Chris, yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. So it was yeah. just like, now everybody was hooping, bro. Games to go to ten, we running them. We probably played like ten games. That's insane. Probably ten. I probably, I probably played eight. It was probably ten to twelve games played total because everybody wow. was really getting to it. Push, da 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 da, score. Yeah, like, we out. You feel me? Like, yeah. It was nice until I started cramping. Which goes back to your point, don't get old. If you do, you're going to get old. But don't stop hooping and get old at the same time. So right. Clay's thing. <laughs> exactly. Um, it all comes about age, age is but a number, they say, until you hoop. Exactly. Exactly. So, yeah, bro, great run, though. I was really excited to get back home to, you know, just kind of do something for the city because that's yeah. always been weighing heavy on me. Like, I don't do enough for uh, my people back home. So, mm -hmm. that kind of hit home. You feel me? Yeah. Like, when Frigga said he wanted to do it, I was like, yeah, there's no, no doubt I'm going to be there. Yeah, absolutely. It's been a long two days, man. I was in New York right before that. I jumped off the flight, went straight to the gym. Probably smelled like a pack of old bread or something. I don't know. <laughs> but Whatever I, airplanes I, smell like. Man, but I did hoop, though, and it was great. Great experience. Great experience. That's awesome, man. So, I mean, you're kind of the go-to person for Little Rock content. I mean, Bleach Report came down. You ran a mile in Crocs. Yeah. Which. I don't know what I was on doing that. But another great. Yeah. Um, I don't know, another great opportunity. Yeah, running a mile across city. and Little Rock in, in your hometown, and then you go on and, and do a little hoop session and, you know, put on for the city of Little Rock. It's it's it awesome cool. to see people come back and give love. Obviously, Bobby does that a lot. Yep. But it's nice to see everybody get involved. That's something that I feel like Little Rock needs a lot more of. For sure, um, for sure. You know, there's a lot less, you know, especially you see it everywhere, but there's a lot of give and take, a mm -hmm. lot of – I don't want to say selfishness, but you know what I'm saying. Like yeah. People kind of taking care of their their themselves, yep. watching out for their own rather than spreading love. Right, right. And that's awesome and big time that you were able to do that with, with Friga and Archie and Alandis and Beasley and everybody else. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, I appreciate that, bro. Uh, Yeah, man, I got a lot of respect for Friga, bro. Like, for real, just outside of the YouTube, like, that man Friga is a really good dude. Like, man. Like, a really good dude. Yeah. Like he, it's, it's really crazy. Like, how <laughs> he's a really, like, good dude. Like, that's all I yeah. can say. I don't know what else. Like yeah, when they came, uh, it's unfortunate that they they left their car. They couldn't put out the Fayetteville blog, vlog when they were doing it. But, mm -hmm. you know, he can't. They all came here. Yeah. Friga, Landon, Joey, yep. Colton, I think, even showed yep. up. They recorded some things here at Laney's Place and, you know, treated everybody, like, with – utmost and awesome like respect yeah you know yeah. they were sitting on the couch like we knew them like we met him in college you right know what I mean? yeah so yeah it is true everything jay is saying about this guy he is a he's an awesome dude he's one of really the most cool. respectful like down to earth humble mm -hmm. guys i've ever met bro i've ever met bro like he's just super good he's just a super yeah. good dude bro so no nah, it was dope it was dope though it was dope that's awesome so let's transition from Hooping in Little Rock. Let's talk about the college scene now. Yeah. Uh, our last episode, we talked about Chet versus Paulo in terms of number one draft pick. We both took Paulo. Yeah, I'm keep I'm sticking to Paolo, that. Paulo, Paulo. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna stick with that too. Yeah. Uh, but 
we did have we did have a couple of comments about that kind of touching on that point from JTH. If I if I miss putting your comment on the screen, forgive me. Sorry. Um, he says Paulo's definitely going number one. Go Blue Devils. But Chet's impact defensively is what has him projected okay. as number one draft pick. Good good point. He does kind of change the game defensively sometimes. Right, but let's so let's let's kind of break this down. I'm a very analytical guy. I've been told I'm a hater first. Shout out Colin. No, I'm kidding. Not just Colin, but everybody yeah. else everybody else in the comment thinks comments thinks I'm a hater first. And I'm not. I'm just really analytical when you grow up in you know, I mean, we see it. Like, when we get somebody and we go look at some video, it's like, uh, I don't know. Or like, yes. <laughs> yeah. He can go. No, nah, he crazy. He can go. Yeah. yeah. Like, that's, that's nuts. You know, obviously being seven, two, three, you're going to be a very impactful player for right. your team. That's just well, how. It, well, well, you should be. Yeah. You should be uh, at seven, two or seven, three. Let's just say that. Yeah. I mean, if we look at. Arkansas, we've got Connor Vanover, who's a 7'3". You know, he's a stretch big. He doesn't shoot it a lot, but he affects shots and alters shots when people come into the paint. And Chet move, he's a, Chet is a lot more mobile than Connor, yep. even at the same size. So, to Laney's point, yes, you should definitely be able to alter shots defensively, rebound very well, and do that because you're 7'3". Yeah. However... I am not picking somebody number one if they just bring me defensive prowess. I feel you. I feel you. Yeah. Are you? No. No, I'm for sure going. Uh, I'm more into. I'm more into versatility, bro. Yep. Like I need people who can just do a lot, and you know, there's there's a couple of times where you may be able to do one thing much better than um, another. Yeah. But for the most part, you know what I'm saying. Get the board, push, make the correct play. Right. You know what I mean? Not saying he, he can't do that. Yeah, we're not saying Chet is not versatile right. at all. He can be. But right. But, you know, to your point, you know, what's his name? Um, that's a big guard. Paulo, yeah. Paulo is a big guard, bro. He really is. So, again, you mentioned him being similar to PG. Come on, bro. Like, at that size? Yeah. With that frame? No, nah, yeah, I mean, like, bigger that's crazy. Than PG is right now. Like, that's what I'm saying. He's got more size than PG does. Now, and PG's been in the league, I don't know how many years. Man, that's a big guard, man. Ain't it no, is. Come on, you got to take him number one, bro. There's no no doubt to me. No doubt to me. Yeah, on the topic on the topic of, col of college, I mean, we're, we're probably looking at talking about, you know, a guy on Gonzaga's could go number one and a guy on Duke. They could each go number one. Mm -hmm. I think, honestly, it depends on who we see in the national championship game. That's a good point. Gonzaga is a very capable team. Yeah. Duke is a very capable team. And it's Coach K's last year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. So yeah. <laughs> that like, is true. There's no telling what's going to happen in the rest of the season. But other than those two, you know, Kentucky's very good, but this season is wide open. I agree. I agree. Wide open. Yeah, I don't know what to think. I don't know what to think, which is cool with me, though. Yeah. Just because we get to see a lot of – we just get to see a lot of basketball played. Yep. Now, when it comes to the bracket, I'm going to be hurt. <laughs> you know what I mean? But right now, I'm really enjoying it just because – yeah, anybody can be beat, bro. Anybody, anybody. can be beat. Anybody. I mean, anybody. we're lo we're looking at teams like uh who who Purdue got beat tonight. They were, you know, number 1. They got beat by Rutgers. By the buzzer beater, right? Yeah, buzzer yeah, beater. Half court buzzer beater. Yeah. Also, off a of euro step. Off a of euro That's step. That's tough. Also, this is a complete side note, but in women's basketball, Georgia Tech beat Georgia Tech. Oh yeah, that's right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Thrown the giant. Yeah, we saw that. Big, but Paige Beckers also is not playing, so that's a whole other portion too. But anyways. Yeah. yeah. So you, you really start to understand, like, how dynamic some players are. Like, you really need people. Like, UConn needs Paige Beckers, no matter how many five stars they have. If she's not on the floor, they don't have a good chance. You feel me? That's yeah. that's true. That's true. Court presence is a real thing, man. I was going to talk about that last time when we were kind of talking about LeBron and, yeah. and uh, Westbrook and, you know, people, the Lakers fans freaking out. Even though they lost tonight, LeBron still had a triple-double. Um, court presence is a real thing. Mm -hmm. I don't want to ignore that because I see a lot of people kind of, oh, the Lakers this and that. Well, LeBron missed 12, 13 games. It's not going you you going in, you going into the game thinking about it totally different with no LeBron. Yeah, and they they've lost thirteen. So if he's missed thirteen, what I'm, are we saying? I'm not saying they'd be undefeated, but you but feel me? Like that's a real thing. I know for a fact, no LeBron. I'm feeling kind of good. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, we straight. We, we don't straight. have to worry about yeah, we, him. 
bro, that's a real thing. Yeah, he's not a headache. He's a migraine. You feel me? Like, so, yeah, don't panic yet. They lost a night. Cool, whatever. Had a triple-double. But that's a real thing, though. That's a real thing. When Hey, Portland, no Dane? Who? Dennis Smith? Dennis Smith is cold. But I ain't got to worry about Dennis Smith the same way that I got to worry about Dane. About I Dane, don't. Man. I don't. I just don't. You feel me? Yeah. That's you get relieved when you when you kind of hooping and you know yeah. that. You feel me? And especially when you day in day out, eighty two games every other day almost. Mm -hmm. Damn, I get a I get a little break. No yeah. Dane tonight. Oh, thanks. I mean, it's like when you walk in the gym and you see a guy come in. He got the three quarter tights, the slides. You know what time top, it is. The high top elites, and just from looking at him, you're like. This dude might fry us. And then you see him in warm-ups, and he's, you know, smoking, you know, yep. bunny layups. And you're like, oh, we're chilling. Yep. We're cool. Yeah. yeah, we cool on dudes. It's, it's just, yeah, exactly. It's mm -hmm. a different – it is a different level of quarter – like court pre, like presence. There's yeah. no pressure. Exactly. It's, it's, it's a lot less like – it's almost when – as if when LeBron doesn't play, you feel like you have more than 50% of a chance mm -hmm. of winning. Mm-hmm. When LeBron's on the floor, you're thinking, like, we're going to have to do everything we can right. to beat this guy. Yeah. Now, there's obviously basketball is like baseball and football. There's a lot of variables at stake. It's a team sport. The yep. other four guys have to be on the same page as LeBron. And if they're not, they lose. Right. It just happens. It's right. just the way every team is. But let's talk about the Lakers, man. Like, we're talking about a, a pretty big fall from grace here. They win They win the, uh, the bubble yep. championship. LeBron wants some respect on his name. Yeah. Rightfully so. He's LeBron. Yep. Everybody's going to hate him till he retires, and then they're going to think about, oh, I Yo, was there. he was the greatest ever. Yeah, I was there when he went for 60 in the garden, yeah. you know, or however much he went Man, for. When he played for Miami, he was the best version of LeBron I ever seen. All that when he retires. But yeah. to your point, I know where you're headed. Go ahead. You can, come, you can keep going. Let's, let's talk about it, though. You know, we're, we're looking at a, a Lakers team that is, you know, 500 or right there on the cusp of being just underneath. Yeah. Um, they're they're kind of dwindling. We're... If they're 13 and 13, we're what, 26 games in? So we're about a quarter of the way through ish, yeah. give or take. Yeah. When is it time to hit the panic button? And I have another another question after that. But when is it officially time to hit the panic button if you're the Lakers? Two weeks out the All Star weekend. Okay. About right there. If they don't make the run, if they don't make a run after All Star weekend, hit the panic button. Just like, 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 get to it. Red button. Yeah. Call. <laughs> eh, eh, eh. Yeah, get to it. yeah. We need you. Whoever. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Somebody. Yep. Hit the panic button then. Okay. Until then. No, because they can still make a little push before All-Star Weekend. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like, that's a team that when they do have it clicking, I see them going on that type of run. Eight right. game win streak, mm -hmm. six game win streak. When they don't, mm, yeah, it could go the other way. Four game loss. Yeah, uh, streak in a row could really slide. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know, right now, honestly, without LeBron, they've been kind of up and down. It's like you know, you're looking at one of them charts and yeah, it's just, like a heartbeat. Heart rate me? goes up and down. Goes up and down. So it's like, give them some time to either become stable or just mm -hmm. yeah, no, just give them some time to become stable, and whether that's positive or negative. Right. You feel me? Like right now, is is you can't predict like what's going to happen mm -hmm. because they are up and down. They'll win one, they'll lose one. Right, the record shows that they're five hundred. They're splitting. They're splitting everything. No need to panic. Now, when they start losing all the months, like, <laughs> that's when you say when all they're right. in the play and like the Warriors were last year. That's when you say, all right, now we need to make the change. Mm -hmm. Right now, you know what I'm saying? It, you can tell they're still trying to figure it out. Mm -hmm. That's what that means. That's what splitting is. Right. So I'm not too concerned. I'm not too concerned. I feel the same way about the Clippers. The only difference with the Clippers is that no ka no Kawhi. You're right. So big X factor there. You feel me? So it's like y'all don't need to split games. Right. You guys need to kind of put the pedal to the floor so that when Kawhi does come, you know what I'm saying, you're putting yourself in the best position possible. Mm -hmm. Um so it's a little different for the in, in their case. You right. know what I mean? So you guys just talked about impact players too. Like that's crazy how much of an impact Kawhi has when he's not playing. Right, right. Yeah, for sure. Easily one of the or the best two way guard forward in the league and you don't have him and he's up there with all time too you feel me this guy we're talking about a guy who single-handedly crushed my dreams last year he did that's what's up like though. yeah it's awful <laughs> like 
<laughs> the Mavs are beating the Clippers by however many in the like in the second quarter, going on a huge run. Yeah, and yeah. they come back and it's just Kawhi. He just, <laughs> he just turned around he, midi cash. He goes for forty. And yep. It's like, bro, I know. Can bro. we guard this guy? <laughs> no, like, <laughs> but but I will. To your point, like they really invested in a good role player in Reggie Jackson. I man, he he just dropped um. Schroeder, I think Schroeder. Somebody, man, he dropped that man. No, Reggie Jackson. I, I, I did see, I did you see that, that highlight. I think so. I did. Yeah, no, he's hooping, bro. Yeah, he's, he's, he's doing a really good job. Let's go back to the Lakers really quick. You said, you said, uh, when we hit the panic button, then it's time to make a change. Yeah. What change are you making? There's a comment here. Hey guys, we we look at the comments and we're even doing it like during the show. But uh, I don't know who JTH is. I mean, like I don't know the person. But I'm seeing one, two, three. Oh, he was active. Yeah, he was He was very active. That's four, what's up. Stay active in there, man. I think it's like four or five different comments to go to what's up. Like, if you're very active, we're going we're gonna to answer a lot of your questions. So please keep commenting. It's awesome. We love it. But his, his change would be Vogel, Frank Vogel, out. Uh, Get him out of there. I mean, maybe. Maybe. So we commented back and said, you know, obviously, is he not the one? And... He said the Lakers' problems are defense, coaching, and injuries. Says he's been saying Vogel is bad. Been saying a lot of people. A lot of people will probably agree with that. I don't think they like him as a coach. Honestly, I don't think he's respected as a coach. Right, because he coaches LeBron. Well, no, I. I mean, maybe I don't know. I just think it's something. I just think it's something missing with him. I don't know what that is, but even with him winning, it's like, yeah, maybe it is because of LeBron. Like it's almost like yeah, but we don't really care. You only win because LeBron. LeBron. You know, I feel like it's kind of that thing. Yeah. I don't know though. I don't know. But for some reason, I, I get those kind of vibes too. Where it's like, are you really coaching them though? <laughs> kind of with Steve Nash though. Like yeah, yeah. You you really coaching them? Like Steve Kerr with the Warriors. You like yeah, he coaching them. Yeah, absolutely. You feel me? Yeah. Doc Rivers when he was with the Celtics. Oh, he's coaching them. Yep. With them, it's like. Yeah, they kind of just hooping. They ain't really listening. Like, you ain't drawing nothing up for real. Right, yeah. I could be hating, but that's just, that seems like the theme to me. So yeah. I could see them wanting the coaching change. Yeah, at that point, I don't know who you go and get. I, I would love to hear people's suggestions in the comments, but I, like to your point, it really doesn't look like they're drawing anything up. It's just kind of like, all right, give LeBron the ball and get the hell out the way. Rush, mm -hmm. you get your touches here. AD, you know, come go Go mid post. We'll throw it to you, and then you can like dribble it out to the three and try to take this guy one on one. So right, you're not iso ball players. Right, right. Basketball is not not made to. It's not a game that's made to be played iso ball. Like mm -hmm. that stuff doesn't even work at the park. Right, like, right. There, How much do you think you can actually tell LeBron to do? No, you can't tell him anything. I mean, I, I I don't think you can tell him anything. Just I think it depends on who it is. Yeah, honestly, I think it depends on who it is. I think if I think with the right. With the right coaching staff, I think you can. I'm going to be honest. I think if Doc Rivers was the coach, I think he would respect Doc enough. Yep. Do you think – so, we obviously – Phil Handy is uh, on board. I with, feel like he messed with, mess with Phil. I, yeah. I feel like he does. You Do feel you think me? if Phil and Frank switch positions, it'd be a different – kind yep. of a different Lakers team? Not saying that Phil Handy's like that from X's and O's. I don't know the man. I'd love to meet him. I'd love to train with you, Phil, by the way. Yeah. But, like, we, we would love to train with you. But from, from a – I hate using the term players coach because every coach is a players coach. Mm -hmm. Like either the players like you or they don't. Right. They're still players and you're a coach. Mm -hmm. Everybody's a players coach. Yep. Some just relate to you better. But I feel like I feel like Phil could be that way for LeBron. And LeBron has such court presence, recurring topic. Yeah. That if he's okay and he's on the same page as as somebody, like if he's feeling good, everybody else is gonna feel good. Yeah. No, I mean yeah, I think you're spot on with that. Another another suggestion, I feel like a lot of people respect Mark Jackson. I do too, yeah. You know, he's not in a coaching position right now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He's a great analyst to me. Yeah, I love but him. But I feel like, you know, as a coach, I feel like a lot of people like like him. Yeah. So I feel like he would be a, a, a great look, you know what I'm saying, as mm -hmm. a coach. You know, just some thoughts. There, I mean, it's a it's a lot, man. It's really hard. The NBA is so different because you're you're coaching guys who are at that level, like they are the cream of the crop. They right. are not. There's not anybody better than them. 
There's not anybody that's going to be able to come out on the floor and just dominate them day in and day out. They're too competitive. They're too athletic. They're too smart. Mm -hmm. They're too just, they're too good. Like, yeah. That's why it's hard to win. I mean, like the stat uh, last pod, when in like 2010, every team in the East went in 50 games. Yeah, that's, that's wild. Hard. That's hard to do. For sure. It's hard to win a game. Yeah. It's hard to win a pickup game. <laughs> I know. Like, I know. So think about think about how when you struggle on a you know you don't win your day on Sunday or or you know Wednesday or whenever y'all play pickup. Think about when you don't win your day, what you could have done differently. They do that eighty two nights Man. in a row. Yeah, like it's very hard to do. It is very hard to do. Very hard to win a game in the NBA. But with that being said, it's not time to hit the the panic button on the late. No, on it's the not Lakers. time yet. Let's talk about. I don't have any other notes. Okay. To, to think of, do you? Um, let's see. Talked about Kyrie, talked about the Lakers, briefly discussed the Clippers. Uh, I guess I need to kind of tell them where I'm headed if I'm headed there. Yeah. Um, nah, that's that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Nets still look pretty good. Uh, KD didn't play this last game. Yeah, they're gonna have to, re I mean, they're gonna have to do everything they can management wise. Yeah, and it's management. I, I know I hate it. My friend actually got to go to the garden to watch the Celtics play the Lakers, and LeBron sat. He was very upset. Yeah. And still, I think he went to the Garden. Or he may have – may, no, he may have been in Staples. Anyway, regardless, he went to a Lakers game and LeBron had to sit. Mm -hmm. That is very unfortunate. I hate that that's a thing, but I I certainly get it with the way injuries are and, you know, the load of – I don't know if I could play 82 games in my best shape of my life. Man, what? I don't think I could either. I'd be in the training room literally – when I wasn't on the practice floor. Like, I wouldn't have a house. I'd <laughs> yeah. be like Chad Ochocinco and live in the facility. Yeah, yeah. And just wake up every four hours and get in the cold tub, get in the hot tub, and then go back to sleep. Might as well. Yeah, there's So no, active, bro. That's hard, dude. Bro, it's tough. It's tough for that's sure. A, that's impossible. I think we're starting to see more wear and tear. So let's get into it, man. Hold on. There was a comment on the, the last episode that I want you guys to address. Okay. Um, somebody said, I know we haven't played anybody. Can you guys talk about Kentucky, though? Very good team. Much much different than last year. Yeah. Um, Saveria's over there. And he's a really, really underrated point. I will say that. Yeah. They definitely need to get I don't know how far I can take it, but I will say we better be prepared. No, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, I think you look at – I think you're going to have a premier matchup in Chris Likes versus Saveria Wheeler. Woo, that's that, going to be a good one. That Like, ball is life. Y'all need to come to that game. Man, I'm Everybody not – Everybody needs to be at that game. But we Everybody played him there, right? Team. Uh, I believe so. No. They come here? They come. Oh, they, they do come, come here. here. Yep, they, they come, come here. here. Yeah, they come here. We need to reserve tickets. They're all sold what? out. We got to figure out how to pull some strings man, we, or something. Man, we, man, we for sure here. For, I'm for sure in there for that. Sabir is such a great point guard, man. He really is. He's he really very, is. He really he's, is. He's more of kind of a very hard, very hard uh, comparison. But he's like Tremont. Yeah. yeah. Very, very good very good poised guard. I don't know if he's as shifty as Tremont was. Tremont was, I mean, yeah, he was, we walked in and like he came in the gym and threw a pass across our two, three zone, like where the help was <laughs> supposed to be. And we were like, who is this guy? <laughs> no, bro. I told you we were just talking about this earlier. You gave us the tickets. Dylan and I pulled up. He started going like between and behind and pulling up and throwing dimes. And I was like, <laughs> Who who is this? Yeah, no, he dude. Yeah. And then, you know, I later found out, of course. But I was like, yo, he really elite though. No, he's good. He's, he's tough, so good, man. Tough, bro. Tough. He's, he's he's about like Sharif. I mean Yeah. Yeah. Sharif Cooper is a very good example. I wonder how have you kept up with him very much? Not not too much. You know, I am sure he's doing well in the G League. Yeah, you feel we, me? we can hit up Jalen. I'm sure Jalen knows. Yeah, he probably know. Um, yeah, Kentucky probably. comes here on February 26th, with it, which is just a few days after a really good day in February. Lane's birthday. Same. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we'll That's back to back. We definitely have to get two there. Two uh, back to back yeah, dope man. days. For sure. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. So, I think it's time. It is? Yep. Okay. We were talking about hitting the panic button on one team in L.A. Have you officially been like, eh, 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 eh? To the L.A. Clippers, and has your application? I saw a lot of comments. What? Somebody, somebody said we need to go live because he had to get at you about your about your application. He wanted to get active. In okay, the, in the comment section. Uh, go ahead, go ahead and comment and tell me why you want to get active with Jay. Well, 
Don't get too active though, because I will just uh like log off line. Like <laughs> <laughs> But if you're if you're cool and you're you want me to join, then you can get active. But he he seemed a little like he, it was it was almost like yeah y'all were talking cash last year on the well, yeah. pod and like well yeah y'all hadn't done anything but, <laughs> but like now you want to come around like it was one of those dudes is like man you only like us because we're winning that's the vibe I got that may not be the way you are but but it but yeah that's though the, but I don't, I'll be I'll be confused on that like you did admit it you did say I like, said that you did say like hey I will admit like y'all are cool now to me I want to get on with y'all <laughs> but, like but my thing is though. You want me to support losers? Like nobody does that. <laughs> like I'd be confused on why people be like, yeah. I mean, by only, all only, means, I feel you on like, hey, show some loyalty somewhere. Like I'm with all that. But bro, the team looks great, and I'm liking them for different reasons. And you want me to not like a dope team? I don't think he wasn't. I don't think he wants to not. Let me put it this way. Sorry if I'm butchering the way you actually meant. It. I don't think he wants you to not like them. I don't. I think he wants it to not be that easy to like them. Basically. Well, I mean, hey, if Demar and them leave, then I won't like y'all anymore. <laughs> like, I don't know what he like. Of course, I like them. They're winning. They look great together. Like they do. That's they what's do. supposed to happen. That's why you win fans over. Like yeah, absolutely. Ah, oh, people would be weird with that. No worries. Um, Laney, what do you think? Do you think his application was accepted or denied? Well, as a Bulls fan, I have always been a Bulls fan. I would like to say that I think his application should be accepted because yeah, we, they what? haven't done anything yet. They Again, they haven't done anything haven't done yet. Anything. They are second in the East. <laughs> Guys so, haven't done anything. I, yeah, I mean, that that's kind of what I feel, but yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, you know, there was a couple guys, you know, when I posted my video on Instagram that were showing a lot of love, too. They were kind of like, yeah, bro, you know, you, Jay, we got you. You the last one, though. I was like, cool. I was like, cool. That's it. You, like, yeah. Shut the door. Shut the it's door. Over, it's over with. I'm with it. I'm with it. But Nike did send me a PG jersey, bro. I did, did you see, see that? that. Yeah, I might have to put the clip. Edition. We might. Have, I might send you the video so you can roll the clip. They did send me the PG jersey, man. And honestly, I think I gotta. I think I gotta stay. You gotta stay. I wow. Gotta stay. I gotta stay. I gotta stay and and wait until. Wow. I gotta see where Kawhi is. I gotta see. I'm showing my loyalty here. I gotta see where Kawhi is. Now, that's not to say that they may not be my favorite team in the East, which they may be taking the spot of the Nets because, you know, KD is my guy. Yeah. KD is like my guy. Like, when I'm trying to talk to a superstar, I'm like, can I talk to KD? Yeah, Like, for that's sure. me, like, all day. If you know me, then you know I'm on that type of time. I love talking to KD. I love picking his brain. I love his game. I think he's one of the greatest players ever to do it. Um, oh, yeah. Up there, he'll, he'll probably finish his career top five. Surely, in my book, mine too. Mine too. Maybe, my t- maybe opinion. top three. Maybe top three. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be honest. I, I started to go there, but Man. I am. Name top three. Name top we got to get back to you uh, oh, on the next episode yeah. of Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Roll, the- <laughs> Roll the outro. <laughs> Roll the outro. But I think I'm, I think I'm gonna hold it down, man. I think I'm gonna hold it down just until at least until Kawhi gets back. Now, if Kawhi comes back and the clip's not looking good, then next season everything goes well, you will see me starting off in a Bulls jersey. I will admit that. <laughs> I'm not capped. But as far as the East, I would like to see the Bulls come out the East, I think. Mm-hmm. But I would like for it to come down between the Nets and the Bulls. Is it going to be one of those things we've seen or we saw last year kind of where the Nets and the Bucks grind it out? I think in, it is. In the conference finals? I think it is, but you – you keep reminding me about the Bucks. I don't know what to think. I don't know what to think about where they stand because I can't just like ignore them, root them out. Yeah, I mean, I don't feel like they're like up there, up there. But I didn't feel like they were up there, up there last year. And yeah, you see how they performed. They were. Oh, I don't want to say this. They were a very. They weren't a great team to me. They were a solid team. They played That's what I'm well. Saying. They hit shots. They got stops. Everybody bought into their role, and they executed to perfection. Yeah. Giannis is going to be Giannis. Yeah. Bobby, which we've known about since he was here at U of A, has always been a dog. Yep. He waited finally to show the world that. Yeah. He's a dog. Um, oh, my P.J. Tucker, obviously, he's just in there. Chris so, Middleton. Chris Middleton, yep. Middleton. Um, Drew Holiday. Drew. Got got busy. I yep. mean, like, everybody, and it was a very good job, I think, by the coaching staff to put people in positions to say, like, all right, Giannis needs a break here, 
but we lose what we lose from him on the floor mostly is defensive presence. So let's put somebody in there. So yeah. if Drew's not on the floor and he's on the bench. Swap them. Yeah, because you know, Giannis is going to be very ball heavy anyway. He's going to be a guard. Yep. Let's uh, let's put Drew in there. Let him make the decisions. Uh, obviously, you've got your role players, but another great example of a great coach. Absolutely, one hundred percent. Lakers coach. I don't think he's doing that. But so it's hard to say. I mean, do the Lakers have pieces like the Bucks did? No, it's not very, quite. It's hard to put some some people Spax. in there if they're you know. Terrible. I'm not saying they're terrible. They would fry anybody at any local rec. Don't ever get me wrong on that. Yeah. But, like, compared to other NBA guys, they just can't get the job done. Yeah. It's just one of those things where it's like, eh, like, yeah, you deserve money and you deserve to play professionally in the NBA, but just not for us. Yeah. yeah. You know, <laughs> like, you know, from a – Nah, but yeah. Because that's real. I, in my mind, I, I hope I get to be a billionaire owner of someday or something. But, like, in my mind, that's how I would think. It's like, you deserve to be in the league, but you don't deserve to play for me. Like, you're yeah, just not yeah. going to get it done. <laughs> you're just not going to get it done. Like, that's so you, though. <laughs> I mess with that. You know, I, yeah, you're right, though. You're right. Yeah, I mean, that's just the type of person I would be. I was, <laughs> that's, that's a perfect representation of Clay right there, though. That's so Clay, though. He gonna show you love, but hey, at the end of the day, we look out for like we know we know we know where we want to go with everything. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah, no, that's like, that's dope. That's the dope. train is leaving the station, and your ticket has expired. Yeah. You know, it's <laughs> just kind of it's time for you to you or know. You, or you never had a ticket, and we acted like you did type thing. Isn't I really would never lead anybody along. Now I was a little out of pocket. Somebody did did get on to me about my Wigan slander. He's playing amazing this year. Hey, yeah. hey. <laughs> You had my boy in the G League last season, bro. I did. I did have him in the G League, but he was playing Call of Duty every night. That's why. He's not he, playing Call he of Duty anymore. He's locked in now. He's locked in. I will say this, though. That new map just dropped, so his, his performance. <laughs> man, his, if his performance declines, Clay was right about Call of Duty. <laughs> because the new map just dropped. New uh, Warzone map. I know he probably owned that joint. Dude, I have. Yeah, I hadn't played Call of Duty in so long. That's funny, though. Yeah. But, yeah, I, I mean. There, there's going to come a point in time. I mean, you got to, you got to hold coaches accountable too. It's like, hey, you deserve to coach in this league, just not for my team. Yeah, I, you're not a good fit. Yeah, you know, I don't, I'm seeing things now. I don't want owners. I'm a Cowboys fan. Yeah, there's this whole conception that Jerry Jones, like, oh well, I went over the playbook with Mike McCarthy and I liked it, so we're mm. gonna keep it. It's like, okay, well, yeah. I mean, every owner should go over the playbook. They want to know. I, I'm a. I spent a billion dollars on this team. Yeah. I want to know what you're doing tomorrow. Yeah. Are we gonna win the game? <laughs> Am I gonna have a chance to put more butts in seats so I can pay off this massive loan? Right. That I that I took out to buy this team. Yeah. Like, Let's be honest. He's already paid back the loan. Oh yeah, the Cowboys are like the fifth most richest franchise in ever. They're like go. worth like five or six billion dollars now, and he bought them for, I think, several like a lot of hundred hundreds of a lot of millions. Yeah, he bought them for a lot of millions, but now they're worth a lot of a, a couple, couple billions. billions. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it's like, yeah, it's a little different. You kind of if you've done that, you deserve to do whatever you want to do. Facts, I agree. Every, whatever you want to do, but you know, obviously, we have championship aspirations around here, so if you can't play if you can't get it done on the floor as a player. You deserve to play, not for me. Yeah. If you can't get it done as a coach, you can't control the logger room. You deserve the to coach, coach, just not for me. That's, that's fair. So it's that is like fair. it's a business at at that point. Yeah. You, know, you got to yeah. look out for. I got to look out for my billions and my investment. Yeah, and my investment, and I got to look out for what's best for the team. I can't ever say that an owner is going to know what's best for any any team that he owns unless he is heavily invested in the locker room. Fair enough. Most of these people, I don't see them as being that heavily invested. Steve Ballmer is very invested. Man. Though. He called me. He was like, don't leave the clips. I was like, all right. Bet. Bet, I'm Just here. Just slide me some Microsoft stock. That's all I need. <laughs> bet, bet. Wait on Kawhi. I said, all right. Yeah. All right. So, but, yeah. I guess I'm chilling. It was the jersey that did it. Really? It really they, it, that was really it. That was, that was the, really it. I was pretty much there. Then really? I opened that package and I saw that jersey. And I was like, dang, this is a sign. That's I can't it. just give up on my boy PG. You can't. I mean, you can always be a PG fan. Look at what people say about Tom Brady. I'm a Tom Brady fan. Yeah. They've loved the Patriots for the last, like, 19 years. Yeah. And then he leaves, and it's like, oh, well, I'm not a Patriots fan anymore. I'm a Brady fan. Yeah. yeah. It's <laughs> like, bro, come on now. You were you were never a Pacers fan. You were a PG fan. And yeah. And you, you were a Clippers fan because, like, that's where you felt like he had an actual legitimate shot to go do what not very many people get to do, and that's win a ring. Yeah, man. 
and I keep thinking about that. If Kawhi wasn't hurt, I, I hate to oh, I hate to take it there, man. But I just think they would have been there over the Suns. I really do. Oh, absolutely. I really I think, do. I, I do think Kawhi – oh, I don't want to say this either. I think Kawhi is a more dominant court presence than LeBron. I do. Wow. That's a hot take. Wow. There's the title. There you go. Okay. Okay. Court, court awareness wise, Kawhi is a much better defensive player than LeBron. I right agree. Right now. I agree. Right now. Now, LeBron, back when, you know, Miami Heat, LeBron, the best version of LeBron. Uh huh. Yeah. Like yep. everybody says, Miami Heat, LeBron, it would have been a little different story. Yeah. But, like, we've seen Kawhi morph into, like, a megastar. Yeah. And like, no, he's arrived for sure. I'm ready for him to get back. Yeah. Me too. I, I, I'm. Uh, just yeah, stay, yeah, stay we out ready. When you play the Mavs, just rest when you play the Mavs. <laughs> Yo, that then, I will say this, and then we can get out of here. That series between the Mavs and the Clippers were so like was so weird for Clay and I. Yeah. Like we would be like talking about the Clippers, and I try to get advice, but he didn't want them to win, and then he he come to me about the Mavs, and I'm like, I mean, y'all sharing the ball, but we, you know, that Morris twin hit a three. It was all over the place in regards to kind of like how we were discussing it, but. Man, it was a great series. I think great our series. friendship grew in that during that nah, series. No, it did though. It, like, <laughs> it did for sure. Jay, I think Jay called me first. Y'all were y'all were a higher seed, right? Yeah, I'm you called sure. me the first game, man. Like, what the hell are they doing? I was like, <laughs> I don't know. They're I'm losing. Just, I'm loving yeah. it though. Luke is doing well. I, I don't know what to tell you, but then, but then I I called you game three or game four when. We're up twenty five at halftime, and I'm like, man, we're going, we're about to cruise into this, take the lead. Series is tied. Yeah, nobody's won a game at home yet. We're just, <laughs> we're just gonna like cruise into game seven, and or this is where we get our edge. Oh, and man, we that you comeback and, you was and crazy. Laney were talking in the group chat, and I'm like, man, I'm about to just turn my phone on airplane <laughs> mode. I no, had to was, like curl up in a ball. Was I was a just good time. depressed, man. I didn't even want to talk about that game. I was no, like, it was tough. We were so up and down. <laughs> you were sad. I was happy. I was sad cussing. You were happy. Yeah, we, we were all over the place. Dude, it was it was amazing. Well, so now we know. Jay Jones is staying. I'm staying, in man. Los Angeles. If I had to root for a team right now, especially with KD not playing too often, I mess with the Bulls. I yeah, mess absolutely. with the Bulls for sure. Now, don't let my boy KD get back right because, you know, I will jump ship, <laughs> as you see. But, yeah, man, don't give me a hard time. I think – I think it's normal for people to want to root for winners. That's just me. Yeah. Uh, if I keep winning, I think I will win a lot of you guys over. Yeah. If I stunk, then the only person that can get away with that is flight. Like I don't know any. Like I don't. I don't know too many people who could just get away with losing. Like and and be successful. I mean, honestly, I ain't trying to be like no butthole. But he's successful in his own right. Yeah. And that's he's my guy. He's definitely successful. That's my guy. But he's I'm saying successful. like nobody roots for losers. Think about it. Yeah. <laughs> Like everybody, like what he they was, want me to do. He was losing games like ten to one, and they was like, "Oh, it's still June though." Like, yeah, yeah, it's, ju it's June fourth. Yeah, like, yeah. June everybody flight was is like, different. I'm like, oh wow. Okay. I don't have that type of support, so I'm gonna keep rooting for the winners. Yeah, like, the only the only person that well, the only people that would support me if I lost that much would be my mom and my dad. Yeah, or me. I'm gonna support you too. Well, yeah, too. But like yeah. immediate, Laney. Well, what you about us? You would, <laughs> you'd probably you would probably be back there, be like. Yeah, you suck, but it's okay. Yeah, like little subtle <laughs> jab. It's little backhanded. Jab. Yeah, it's like a little bit. Damn, were you really trying to build me up, or was oh, that <laughs> was it a listen, little like fifty-fifty? What's have up? I, have I ever lied? Have I ever do? No. It's no, lied. you're very honest. Sometimes to a point where it hurts a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, well, that just wasn't very smart. It's like, really? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Thank you for the insight. I no, I agree, that. though. If I was to keep losing, man, it would probably just be you guys and a few others to kind of really yeah. support. As it should be. That's how you know your friendship's real. Right. But dude comment, he going he gonna to jump ship, too. Like, I don't know why. He, it, like, what? Like, if the pod suck, he not watching. Yeah, exactly. Like, what? But, yeah, bro. So, to your point, hey, you win. Yeah, I'm, don't. I'm staying for now, but I will say this, and I'll get out. Now, when that contract is over and with AD... It's rumored that AD may go back to Chicago, where he's from. I'm telling you right now, if that happens, I'm a bull. I don't care what you say, who you are. Like, I'm going. I'm, we're moving to Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you there, bro. Yeah. Because that will be a crazy, crazy squad. No, it would. With Lonzo, but, I mean, yeah, Lonzo, obviously, Caruso's a good role man. player. DeMar scoring it really well. Man. So, hope you know. Kyle Lowry over there? 
No, he's with Miami. Miami, that's right. I, yeah. I forget where he's at. Which is another sleeper. They are. Another sleeper on the East, bro. The East is, the East is it's back. Yeah, they were a good bubble team. They're back, bro. So They were a good bubble team. I mean, you know, so without a doubt, guys, uh, obviously we're not going to get to, to, for the sake of the show flowing, we're not going to be able to get to everybody's comment, but we will always reply to you in the comments. Yep. Um, if you guys want us to answer anything else, we will be doing community posts uh, pretty much the day of or the day before uh, we're scheduled to record. Yeah. So go ahead and interact with those as well. Like this video, subscribe if you're new. I, we greatly appreciate everything that you guys, all the support. We hadn't posted in like eight months. We have almost a thousand views on the, the video. Not bad. Like that's that's love for real. And no, we that's, appreciate that's that for sure. That's dope. We can clap uh, it up for yeah, them, man. We mess with y'all. We appreciate y'all. And they've that's been dope. they've been watching the video longer. They're yeah. staying for longer periods of time, which is awesome. I mean, yeah. that's good for us, but like it it it's good for us with you know YouTube, but it's also good for us because we know you're you're liking what we're talking about and you're staying engaged longer. They yeah. only stayed longer last time because you told the people that Kyrie needed to retire. Ooh, that did hurt. Yeah, that was kind of a real flaming hot take. Man, but, yeah, that hurt. You know. I woke up in the middle of the night. <laughs> no. Said that? Was this not a dream? Yeah. <laughs> That hurt, but you know he'll be back though. Yeah, he will. So college back. hoops, uh, we'll talk about some more of those. Obviously, getting into conference season here, December's going to be coming to an end here in about twenty something days, twenty two, twenty one days. Yeah. So, oh, speaking of December, please do not. We haven't ironed out a date, but the the date right now is December twenty third. We will do a walk ons pod live show. We are going to talk about Christmas Day games. Mm. We're gonna do that either before or after, yeah. like what we what we're anticipating or what we liked about the past. We are also gonna be doing a live Christmas gift exchange. Now, <clears throat> that's gonna be dope. That's all a matter of if you guys want to watch us give each other gifts. We might give you all some gifts. You never know. We yeah. may Venmo somebody or something just out of the goodness of our heart. It is the season of giving. Whatever happens, happens. But please do not miss that right now. It's gonna be December twenty third. We don't have a time yet. But that is going to be an awesome, awesome experience. I'm very excited about what I got you. Lainey's very excited about what she got you. I'm happy too, man. I'm ready to show you guys some stuff. It's going to be super fun. So with that being said, Jay, take us home. Thank you guys for watching. As Clay said, like, share the content. And until next time, GG's G. We love y'all and we are out.